Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface. Now, a couple of days ago, I brought you a video on the evolution of Gilneas and how the vanilla version of the Grey Main Wall translated itself into this wonderful structure that we see on the live servers today. Now, not only was it made as a love letter to our lost friend Haven Games, but also because this area, plus another one very close by, had a very special place in my my heart. Not just the Grey Main Wall, but also Dalaran. It was these two areas which fueled my fascination with secrets and discovery in the world of Warcraft. And the Grey Main Wall itself was the catalyst that made me roll my first ever alt, which was a mage. And the reason why, of course, was the secret of how to get behind it. So let's turn back the clock and relive those pre-cataclysm days and see in this special secrets video how you could actually get behind the grey main wall. Well, what you'd do is you'd move yourself to the right hand side towards this big thick tree which was actually pushed up against the wall itself and then you could just bounce up pressing forward and jump. Turn back on yourself and there was a crack in the wall. Now there'd be an invisible wall blocking your way, however you could run up the side of it and the reason why I went and rolled a mage is because of the next trick a mage could do to get past the invisible wall. It was simply blink through it. Yeah, a mage could actually blink through the invisible wall. After that, you just ran to the end here, took a running jump, and then slow forward yourself so you could get down to the side. And because the landscape and the wall once again collided with each other, you could just use the forward button and the jump button to start bouncing your way over the top. And I remember the very first time that I did this, my excitement levels were absolutely off the chart. Now I never expected to see the Gilnea city or anything like that. I understood the fact that Blizzard weren't going to waste their time constructing something which wasn't going to ever be seen, but I really didn't know what was going to await me when I got over the crest of the hill. However, not everybody had a mage. So was there a way to get behind the grey main wall if you were any other class? Well, let's just grab one at random, shall we? This chamois. And there was a couple of things that you needed to make sure. Number one, that you either didn't have your hearthstone on you or that your hearthstone was on cooldown. And number two, enlist the help of Blizzard to get you through the invisible wall. So just repeat everything that you did as the mage, but when you got here, you would actually click the help button, and in those days, if your character was stuck, instead of going to the nearest graveyard, Blizzard would actually nudge you in a certain direction. So you would click the unstick button, and then just before it got to the end, you would just tap forward, and you would find yourself a few meters past the invisible wall. Now, of course, this character doesn't have slow fall, and in those days, there weren't really those toys which allowed you to propel yourself forward. Maybe a priest might have been able to use levitate to get past there, but a lot of classes would have been stuck, and if they tried to make the jump, as you can see, it would fail and you'd have to get back on top of the wall. So the way that you circumvented this was to get a little step up over here. If you got yourself right towards the edge of the invisible wall and then jumped uh, and pushed forward, you would actually find a little ledge for you to latch onto. From there, you could just jump up onto the top and then walk around the side and then just drop yourself down. Every class, if the landscape and walls collide, can just do the wall bounce of pushing forward and then jumping. So it wasn't just mages that could get away with this. And in actual fact, this isn't the only way that you can do it. If you had the patience, you could actually go a certain route around the mountains that surround this area and my goodness, it involved a little bit of ledge jumping and everything, but you could eventually find your way here. Now, I've got to say, 
I had an ulterior motive for bringing the chamois here when I got to the crest of the hill. If you saw the video a couple of days ago, then you'll know that there's absolutely nothing here at all. They just literally made sure that the road went up a hillside and then if somebody was sticking their head through the gaps in the port callus to see if they could find anything, all they would see would be these trees poking up and the road going off into the, uh, into the, well, what, what, say nether but it's not just into the unknown so use the chamois far sight and you could actually get to have a good look at what else was around the place so just positioning it on the top of the mountainside you could look around and as i mentioned in a video again a couple of days ago how little physical space there is down here just look at how much of the area is actually made up of mountainsides and because the current day version of gilneas doesn't have these mountains that in itself opened up more and more surface area for what we see on the live servers today. But there you go, an old secret about how you actually got past the grey main wall. And I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming links. They're in the description down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everyone. Bye for now.